Hey guys, this is Jeff, also known as TSX Trader from LivestreamTrading.com. Today's uh, video is going to be on the hotkey configuration within the DAS Pro platform. This is going to allow you to enter and exit stocks much faster, enter orders much more quickly, and ultimately give you a bit more of an edge in the market to those guys that are, you know, clicking around to get their buy and sell orders out there. So let's start by clicking the hotkey configuration button within your DAS Pro platform. We're going to go ahead and add a new item. And we're going to start by doing the buy key. All right. So uh, I like to use F1 for my buy key, but that's already in use. So let's just do, for the sake of this video, I'll use F2 as the buy key. Click over to the order script wizard. Okay. For the side, it's going to be buy. Shares. That's entirely up to you. Um, for to start out, maybe just keep it low at 100 shares. That way, while you're getting used to these hotkeys, you don't press a button by mistake and buy too many shares by accident. Keep it at 100 for now. You can change that later. Symbol, leave that blank. For the price, we're going to put on the bid. Okay. For the account, drop that down. Click your account number. For the route, we're going to use limit, always limit. TIF is going to be day plus. Leave that blank, leave that blank. And for the mode, it's going to be load. And then just hit build script. Once you have that in, just hit commit. And then that'll save F2 as your hotkey. Now we're going to do the exact same thing again. Add new item. This time the hotkey is going to be, uh, I used F2 for the buy key, so I'll use F11 for the sell key. Order script wizard, side is going to be sell. Shares, going to be 100. The symbol is going to be blank. Price is on the ask this time. Account, drop down your account number. Route, limit. TIF is going to be day plus again. Leave this blank. Leave that blank. Mode is going to be load. And build script. And now you've got your sell order script built. And once you set up that hotkey, just press commit. And now you have your buy order hotkey set up and a sell order hotkey set up. You can do as many of those as you want. You can add a new one and make you know F1 100 shares, F2 200 shares, F3 500, F4 you know buy a thousand etc and then on the other side of your keyboard maybe F8 to sell 100, F9 to sell 2 etc. Um, the sell orders are also they double as short orders as well so if you're looking to go short just use the sell keys um, in the same way. The next thing I want you to do is go into your hotkey configuration um, and look for where you see the plus 0 0.01 and then uh, edit that item. And what I want you to do is just set the hotkey as key up. Um, obviously you're not going to type key up in there, you're just going to click in it and press the up arrow on your keyboard and then hit commit and do the same thing for the minus zero one. Click on that one, edit the item. This one for the hotkey, press the down key on your keyboard and hit commit. Okay guys, so we have our buy key set up, we have our sell key set up, and we have the up and down arrows set up as well to adjust the price of our orders. What I want you to do next is find out where it says cancel last. Okay, hit edit item. And for that one, we're going to make the hotkey escape. So click in there, press the escape button on your keyboard, and then hit commit. Okay, so next we're going to find the hotkey that says plus 100 shares. And we're going to edit that item. And in the order script wizard, we're going to press the key right button for the hotkey. Hit commit. And do the exact same thing for the minus 100 shares. So we're going to find the minus 100. There it is. We're going to edit that item. And for the hockey for that, we're going to make it key left. So just press the left key on your keyboard. Hit commit. Okay, guys. So the next thing I want you to do is click add new item. We're going to leave it on the new script building this time. And what we're going to put for the script is minute chart one. That's a capital M capital C space one. Okay, just note that there's no space between the minute and the chart. There's just a space right here between the chart and the one. Okay, so minute chart one. And for the hotkey, use the number pad on the right side of your keyboard. Use the one key. 
All right, I already have that being used, so for you, just press that number pad one and hit commit. It should look like this when you're done. Okay. Now do the exact same thing, add new item, and this time put in minute chart two. And the hotkey is gonna be number pad two. So just press the two key on the right side of your keyboard on the number pad and hit commit. Third one is going to be minute chart five. So again, add new item and minute chart space five and the hotkey is gonna be number pad five. Hit commit. One more, minute chart 60. So add new item, script, minute chart 60. And for this one, I like to use number pad zero. So the big zero on the bottom right of your keyboard there. And hit commit. Uh, what that's gonna do is, as you guys know, charting is very important to me. I think it takes too much time to click over here between one minute, five minute, and 60 minute charts. So with these new hotkeys configured, assuming that you put them in exactly the way I did, um, that'll allow you to press the one key to look at a one minute chart. Now remember your, your chart has to be highlighted so it won't work if your level two is highlighted but click on the chart and then the five key will give you the five minute chart, the zero key will give you the hourly chart, and the one key will give you the one minute chart. So often when I'm looking to make a quick decision on the stock, I'll look at the one minute, five minute, and hourly really quickly just like that and be able to make a decision a lot faster than someone that's gonna be clicking like this and then clicking like this and so on and so forth. So what I'd like you to do is start getting in the habit of looking at multiple time frames. So starting with the one minute, take a look at that, take a look at your five minute, zoom it out, and then your hourly to get the big picture of what's going on. I personally, as you know, uh, I keep a daily chart above that's all linked together. To link your windows, grab this anchor key and drag it and drop it. Just click it, hold it, and drop it where you want it to anchor, and that'll connect all these items together. So if I change the symbol to LGCY, all of the charts will change with it. So once you get the hang of flipping between these different chart items, uh, let's take a look at how we can use these hotkeys to place bids and offers and short sells on our stocks. Um, with the keys that I have set up, so I have F1 is set as a, a buy order for 500 shares, and as you go along F2, 3, 4, and 5, it gets bigger in size. And then F7 through F12 are all cell keys on my keyboard. Um, so if I press F1 to load a bid for 500 shares, it's going to put it at the bid price as we set it up in the hockey configuration. Now in order to execute that order, I would have to press the enter button, which is exactly the way you want it. You don't want to accidentally hit your F1 key and buy you know, a bunch of shares. Um, you want it to load the order and then enter is what's going to execute the order. So um, let's say that I wanted to bid 500 shares at 360. Well, I would just press the F1 key to load a buy order. Just take a look down here. F1 loads the buy order at 366, the bid price. And if I wanted it at 360, I simply press the down arrow till I get to the price I want and then press enter to execute the order and we had set up escape as the cancel key. So if I change my mind on that order, I can simply press escape and it cancels the order instantly. So F1 to bid, up and down to choose the price I wanna bid, enter to execute the bid, and then escape to cancel the bid. Get the hang of just pressing and, and you know entering these orders and canceling them quickly. And before you know it, you're gonna be a master at entering and exiting positions faster than most other people in the market and it's going to give you that slight edge that you need to get ahead. Same thing for short selling. Let's say that I want to short sell 500 shares at 370. I will press F12 or whatever hotkey you have set up as your sell key and that will automatically load a short order and prepare it at 370. It doesn't send it to the market until you press enter but let's say I want to get in at 75. Well I'll press F12 to load the sell up key to 75, enter, and now I'm waiting at 375 to get filled. In the instance where I don't wanna to wait to get filled, I need to get short and I wanna get short right now, what I would need to do is press the F12 key, which will load a short order at 370, and then move it down to the best bid price that I can remove shares from. So the best price you can get in right now 
is 366. There's 400 shares to buy at 366. So if I want to short, I have two options. One is I can sit at 370 and wait to get filled. Second option is I can go at 369 on the offer and again wait to get filled or 68 or 67, but there is someone bidding to buy 400 shares at 366. So if I press F12, load my sell order, set the price to 366, and press enter, it's going to take those 400 shares from the market at 366. That's what is called a marketable limit order. Because we're still using a limit order, it's not going to fill me at any price lower than 366, my limit price, but it's going to remove liquidity from 366, which is essentially a marketable limit order. I'm taking from the market. While we're on the subject, I want to show you the difference between adding and removing liquidity. If I press F1 to bid, and I put my bid at 360 and press enter, I am actually adding 500 shares of liquidity to the market at 360. If I want to remove liquidity from the market and buy the stock, the best price showing right now to buy the offer is 370. So I'd have to press F1 to load my bid, move the price up to 370, and press enter to remove liquidity from 370. So the easiest way to look at it is if you're bidding or offering outside of the bid and ask prices, you're adding liquidity. So I just added 500 shares of liquidity at 375 on the offer, or I'm adding liquidity at 362 on the bid. That's adding liquidity. To remove liquidity, I need to take shares that are already available on the market. So right now, the best price to buy LGCY at market is the offers at 370. So I would press F1 to load my bid. I would execute, I would move the order up to 370 and press enter and that would execute and buy the 370s. I really hope this video helps guys. Make sure to copy the information exactly as I posted it and please be careful until you get used to using these orders. All right guys, thanks a lot. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Cheers.